How to own your dream villa on Mallorca for a fraction of the price. Here's a wee secret. Spanish people do it all the time. And this is how. Spanish people, by tradition, don't sell their own homes. Yes, they build apartments and villas for us foreigners to buy, but they traditionally keep their own properties in the family by leaving their real estate to their kids. Why? Because in Spanish culture, it's considered shameful to sell the property that your parents worked so hard to buy. So in Spain, each child inherits their share of the family property. And even if there are 12 children, they all receive their share by percentage. One share per child. Again, by Spanish culture, it used to be normal, although not so common now, to have five or six kids. So it's very, very commonplace in Spain for a property to have five or six brothers and sisters who co-own a property. And Spanish property law protects their interests as co-owners by splitting the title deed amongst them. Spanish families tend to use these properties for fiestas, parties, weddings, christenings, family gatherings and so on. And here's where it gets really interesting. I'm sure you know that from the 50s through to the 80s there was a massive boom in tourism in Spain and a lot of Spanish people got very, very rich indeed. This meant they would very often build luxury properties in prime locations like the Costas and on the islands like Mallorca, Ibiza and Menorca. And there are thousands of these properties in Spanish ownership still. And it might surprise you that most of these properties are hardly ever used. They lie empty most of the year. Why? The Spanish, same as most other Europeans, get about two weeks holidays a year and they'll normally drag granny and the kids off to the villa. But it's actually very convenient because all the co-owners share the costs of the upkeep of the villa. And as it's only ever used as a second holiday home, they're getting the use of a luxury property they couldn't otherwise afford. And if at some point one of the siblings wants to get out of the arrangement, he or she can simply sell his or her share of the property. Again, this is quite common in Spain. And here's where it may be interesting for you. Up until now, this was something that was an option only for Spanish citizens, but not anymore. Due to recent change in Spanish property ownership laws, we non-Spanish can actually become co-owners of a Spanish property on Spanish soil. So if a share in a luxury property such as Villa Dragonera was to be offered for sale, there's nothing to stop us from buying that share. And it gets better still. Villa Dragonera or any other luxury property you see with us is actually owned in the UK by a legally registered UK limited company. So anyone who buys a share in that company becomes a director with lifetime title and with exclusive usage rights. So your investment is covered not only by Spanish law but by UK law as well. Now that's a very abbreviated and simplified version of what's actually a very sophisticated property investment. There's something similar in the US called fractional ownership but quite often these are basically dodgy timeshare schemes under another name. As you're watching this video, there's one share about to be released in Villa Dragonera, which has a current market value of 2.1 million euros for 199,000 euros. If you're interested at all, call me free on this number 0034871510022. No charge is a free phone number. Anytime during normal working hours, including Saturdays and Sundays. And we'll be delighted to book a few days for you free in Villa Dragonera with no obligation whatsoever. But please be aware that there's only one share currently available. So don't delay, call right away. My name's Norm. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, adios.